temos aqui. Ora, uma... Easy Dale. Thing. Hello, man. Congratulations. Hello. A, a wonderful surprise, I have to say, mm -hmm. for everybody that uh, loves Counter Strike. I was expecting G2, even if the device was playing. That was my prediction. He's a hater. And no, I'm not a <laughs> hater, man. I, I love Nip. I love Forest <laughs> in my heart <laughs> forever. But the question is uh, what happened? Did you felt you had a chance? You fought uh, like you you had the chance. You you deserved the victory. You you made a wonderful comeback on the T side. You had so many problems on the terrorist side of the game. What happened today? Um, I think it was just a combination of us hitting our shots and uh, you know really punishing the fact that they are playing with Kenny. Uh, I think uh, we were able to find some holes in their CT system and we just kept abusing it. And uh, yeah. We, Managed to make an insane comeback. Uh, not much to say. Well, I, I'm gonna ask uh, about the, the map pool because you guys played Nuke, Dust 2, and Inferno. Uh, were you expecting this 2 being picked by G2, or were you expecting Mirage and leaving this 2 uh, for the last map? We were we were expecting exactly this map pool, so we did a perfect prep. Um, I, I would say like we definitely did, deserved to lose the way we played on Dust 2, but I think honestly, if we would have won that pistol a second round, you know, gotten the economy rolling on CT side. I think we would have won Dust 2. I think uh, I think Dust 2 was actually ours to lose after you know we threw away some insane pistol. We also lost like five or six clutches, like just couldn't catch a break. Um, and I think if any of those rounds go our way, then then we just we win on Dust 2 as well. But uh, yeah, we didn't have enough room on our T side to you know not enough rounds on our CT side to to give us enough room on T side. So. So and what about your feeling inside the team nowadays? You had communication problems, which is completely normal uh, you need adaptation you need time uh, you were bought uh, even the vice said we, we had to go to denmark to get the player we wanted everybody knows easy tag the the magnificent uh, sixth man from uh, astralis that made everything uh, go well on the the best team in the world um, at the moment how are you feeling playing with the team do you feel already a part of the group Yeah, I absolutely feel a part of the group. I love I love all the individuals on the team. I think it's mostly just on me. Uh, I, I like it's always been, you know, I just got to work hard on, on learning this new language and I got I to gotta work really hard uh, and be realistic about it because, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. So I know there's an issue right now for me personally, uh, but I'm doing everything in my in my power day and night to, to fix that. So like after the break, hopefully communication will be all smooth and, you know, I can I can do what I what I really enjoy, which is provide really really good and precise communication which will you know make our t side hopefully a lot better than, than <laughs> it already was today well uh, uh, speaking about the the games today and not your t side but g2 t side when you guys were playing ct side on inferno you you won eight to seven but you could have won 11 to four because you lost the I think against two force buys uh, the second round and i think the seventh uh, all on a side did you feel that the game could have changed uh, way easier to, to you guys if you haven't lost those rounds For sure. I mean, uh, but uh, but I'm not to speculate what happened on A side. Mm -hmm. Like, it happens that you get like one deep in some insane way, right? And then they just swarm the side, and you you can't stop it or something. So uh, we'll we'll have to do a review and see what happened. But uh, like usually, our our CT sides are really stellar. So I'm sure it's not a it's not an issue. Hello? So last question, mm -hmm. a really quick one, and thanks for all your patience. Uh, it has to do sure. with the words that were directed to Rez when you. Rez was kind of under attack by Nico. I don't see it as an attack, but many people considered it that way. Uh, it didn't come say? out. Uh, uh, Nico said that he was uh, too. He was uh, Rez was overrated. Overrated basically. because he was too um, in uh, inexperienced. Not inexperienced. He was too Consistent, English, right? uh, protected. Mm, yeah, he was kind of I protected, think, no, no, but think, he was kind of. Uh, I, I think he said. I think he said it was, he was inconsistent, right? Inconsistent. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the uh, word I was asked, yeah, uh, yeah. asking. Thanks, man. It's my English. So um, he said it was inconsistent, and my question is simple. Uh, it's kind of, when when you are fighting a family, and Rez is a part, a big part of the Nip family. Um, you are kind of playing with a like a dangerous game you know because everybody is going to play to protect res and to make uh, to prove uh, everyone wrong and i do think that nico shouldn't have said that before this this game do you agree with me i mean 
Of of course, like the thing is, the thing is, these type of things get said. Uh, who knows? Maybe it was just a mental game uh, that Nick was playing. Uh, but just to touch on it, like from my point of view, uh, I think ever since I've joined this team, he's been playing amazingly. Uh, I would like to credit my supportive uh, role here. You know, uh, setting him up, dropping fault. him an AK here and there, making sure he gets the right flashes and and so on. But uh, no, he's just been firing like. Uh, on, in practice, in officials, like he's been playing amazingly. You saw the deagle round on Nuke today. Absolutely, absolutely ludicrous. If you get to that yeah. last one, I'm sure it's like one of the plays of the year, right? Because it was insane. Um, but honestly, like he's just he's just like one of the most skilled aimers I've ever see, experienced in in CS:GO. Like, like that, I can't do what that guy does. So, so I just need to, you know. I need to set him up in ways that, that he can continue to do so. And uh, I mean, he's so far, he's just been firing like help every official like he's just insane so he just needs to continue what he's doing now my last question to you is tag is you guys played with Fonzi uh, today because of the devices have uh, he had health issues how was it how was it playing with the kids how has he been uh, just tell yourself tomorrow he plays the final oh, yeah that's uh, that as well <laughs> <laughs> the kid so, must uh, be crazy. I'm sure. I'm sure. If I was him, right, I would come in and I would know. I would be super nervous. But he was cool as ice. Uh, he was. He did an amazing job on the team. Like he was. He was uh, offering stuff. He was. He was helping out. Like it was great having him around. Um, and you know, filling the shoes of Deva is always like insanely hard. So, uh, so credits to that guy for for honestly stepping up to the plate like he did. And then I would also say like. Um, you know, it's always hard to, to to know all the nades and stuff, but like he actually managed to 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 not fail anything today. So it was it was amazing playing with him. He did a really great job. Yeah, well, Easy Tech, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your answers as well. Best of luck tomorrow on the final. We'll be here good to luck. watch it. So good luck. We believe. Yeah. <laughs> let's see. Thank you. Let's, let's, let's go. Do it. Let's do it for Deva. Let's do it for Deva. <laughs> yeah, well, good. Best Great. of luck tomorrow and see ya.